So you guys are currently watching Sunday where I had the 13 ended up being over $1,400 weekend, uh, but not by the time I made the thumbnail. Um, my Sunday ended up being um, 325, I think. Um, and so we have, right now we have 11, yes, 11 to ship that you haven't seen yet. And I didn't ship four things, so I've got 15 things. This is the problem for me, and it's a good problem to have. Let me turn some lights on. For between packing uh, up new stuff that is sold and making videos, I haven't really found a good time to list things. I've got a, like 30 items pulled to the side that I need to take pictures of uh, because I need to have I need to start getting some new stuff listed. Yesterday I got nothing listed. It was the weekend. I worked all day on packing stuff and I wanted to spend some time with the family. And so I ended up just taking my top 17 of my top 20, like most expensive items that I have in the store and ending and selling similar. The th other three that were in the top 20 had only been listed like three or four days. So I didn't feel like that was logical, but uh, none of those have sold, but I still have had some activity in the store this morning. So it's been pretty good. I don't know what my total is on the day, uh, but I ended the day yesterday with like 321. And so far I've only got like $36 in sales, but I had enough overnight that counted as yesterday. Cause if you're unaware, eBay's um, day is based on California time, no matter where you live in the United States. I don't know about uh, overseas people, but as far as like what time your day is, your 24 hour period here, it's 2 a.m. to 2 a.m. because we're two hours ahead of California time. So it in the United States anyway, if something sells and you live in, if you live in New York City and something sells at 3 a.m., it counts as yesterday. Um, and if you have to, you know, if you have to respond to a case by January 30th and you respond at 2 a.m. on January 31st, it counts as California time and you responded in time. I wouldn't necessarily recommend waiting that long, but so that you're aware, um, eBay is in, I think, San Jose, California, and all of their times are based on that. So 24 hour, the 24 hour period, that is your 90 days or your yesterday total, is based on California time, not wherever you live, unless you live in California or anywhere that would be Pacific standard time. Uh, let's get 10 more orders pulled and then I got to ship a bunch more stuff. I would like to still get it out for today. It's only 10 o'clock and my mailman takes Mondays off. So I don't know who's going to be picking up, but it'll probably be later in the day. So I can probably get this stuff out still yet today. So I bought a whole bunch of manga books for 50 cents a piece at Goodwill and thought that some of them were good. I thought they were all good. I was wrong. So this Soul Eater 1 and 2 sold for $9 free shipping. So I'm only a dollar into it and it's media mail shipping, but still that's a pretty low sale. I bought this food processor the other day and didn't realize that it didn't come with a power cord. It just didn't occur to me, hey, there's no power cord on this thing. So I elected to do what I do, and that is part it out. I took this is listed separately, and this piece, well, and this piece is listed separately too. Um, and this piece comes off of here, and this piece sold for $12. I paid $2.50 for the whole thing. The what you really want are these cones that are kind of the works of the whole thing. You know, it spins around and cuts up your salad parts. Those salad shooters can do really well, uh, depending on make and model. That one would have been probably $25. And this sold for $11.99, $12 free shipping. And then over here, we have, I had a rock band drum set and I didn't have a thing to test it with. Um, and they are a pain in the butt to ship. So I just 
got rid of the drums and kept this. These foot pedals are universal. So this is from a Wii unit, but it would work for Xbox, PlayStation, one, two, three, any of it. Anything that has a foot drum pedal, they're all the same. So these sell reasonably well because they are uh, universal. And if somebody needs one, any of them will work. $15 plus shipping on this. And it's making that money and making it a whole lot easier than trying to test and ship a whole drum set. This Caterpillar hat, another Caterpillar hat. I sell Caterpillar hats all the time. Sold for $12.99 free sh plus shipping. I can't find it at the moment. I ended and sold similar -ed, a whole bunch of stuff around the time Ruby was born. And like hundreds of items, 600 items. And so I can't use my relying my reliable method of when was it shit when was it listed and then let's see if there's something that is listed that same day and find it and see if it's in the same box which normally works except for this was just end and sell similar with 200 other items so that's not gonna work um it is here i've seen it recently and i'm just not gonna waste all day trying to find it in order to get the rest of this stuff shipped out. So it doesn't have to go, today's Monday, it doesn't have to go until Wednesday, but here it is, uh, and it sold for $12.99. Caterpillar hats of any variety, I pick up fairly cheap, because they sell. This is some 80s dead stock seniors, like seniors always on top, like graduating from high school on this weird DevNet tag single stitch it came with a bunch of shirts that were dated 80 81 82 i paid two dollars for a box full of t-shirts like i went in and previewed the auction and did an absentee bid for this box of t-shirts and that worked out way better than any time i've ever gone and bid on clothes on that at that auction live because people bid against me and i got for two dollars and fifty cents i got a bunch of t-shirts to make money on that one only sold for $8 plus shipping, but it um, came in a huge lot and I've made money on it a long time ago. I even That one even would put me in the profit, but I was profitable a long time ago on that. So dead stock shirts, vintage, single stitch stuff will sell, but not all of it is huge banger. You want to be like recognizable IPs, like sports teams, bands do really, really well. Um... Uh, cartoons that kind of thing that is stuff that's nostalgic for people and then they start to drop off significantly if it's something like that senior class of 1982 there's not a lot of market that one doesn't say the date on it but it there's not a lot of market for that so you might not expect to make nearly as much money but for something i'm in for maybe a quarter probably even less than that because at 250 a quarter would mean i only got 10 shirts and i bet i got 20 shirts so anyway it was cheap, and it sold for $8 plus shipping. I did not realize it at the time when I picked this up that these, that spinners coffee mugs are a thing. Spinners coffee mugs. So this hat is Culver's Restaurant Midwestern Regional Chain, and it has a spinner on it. Culver's. And that Emperor's New Groove that I have sold several times, it also has a spinner on it. So evidently coffee muggers, mugs with a spinner are a thing. I found this for $1.99. I only found comps at like $28 or something. So I listed mine at $22.50 plus shipping and got no interest. Lowered it to $19.99 uh, recently. And then I got a best offer of $15. And I'm like, I got two bucks into this. It's a coffee mug. $15 plus shipping is plenty. Fine with me. And spinner coffee mugs are evidently a thing people collect or look out for or something. So comp them if you see them with a little fidget thing on them. And then uh, this one sold for 15, uh, 15 plus shipping. So the other day, or I sold some Rainbow Brights and I told you guys there was a strawberry shortcake also. I paid $5 a piece for the dolls, which was overpaying in hindsight. This was the other one, and it sold for $12 free shipping, which, I mean, I'll make a little bit of money, uh, and I made uh, quite a bit more money on the uh, Rainbow Bright ones. 
but I'm not making a bunch of money on any of that stuff. $15, and I think it was like $30 plus shipping total. This dude, however, made by Ertl, like the diecast toy uh, car company. This is, and it's a really good sculpt. Let me see if I can get a better. That is Burt Reynolds from Smokey and the Bandit. And it's a remarkably good sculpt. And it's got a little bit of paint loss, but not much. And it's a very tiny die cast. It's metal uh, action figure. And I got him and I got Rocky, uh, the same thing. And this one sold, I listed them both. I paid 10 bucks a piece for them. I listed them for 30 plus shipping each. And it's only been like a week and a half that they've been listed. And that one sold. And now we're going into VS1. Hey, there's Winnie the Pooh. He was lost, but now he's found. He was blind, but now he has honey. Um, this. Levi picked up these scantily clad women at the at the yard sale the other day because he loves green. Um, he's not quite old enough to get it on these. But anyway, in VS1, we had those two orders. This I paid 99 cents for, and I picked it up because scantily clad women sell and uh, snap-on stuff always sells. And it's dated 1991. $11 free shipping. Now, inevitably, somebody's going to say in the comments, well, you can't raise six kids on $11 free shipping that you're giving your time away and stuff. And while that is kind of true, I think I kind of proved that it isn't true because I'm making money on this stuff. And I have this stuff. Like, you have days where it feels like everything that sells is less than $20. Uh, and some, most of it's free shipping. But yesterday, my average sell, I had 40 sales and my average sale price was $40. So you take the good with the bad. Uh, but today is, well, it's, I wouldn't say it's bad, but it's less impressive. <laughs> and this is the lowest of the low Cobra Master file card sold for i had it listed for seven dollars free shipping and i sent out a 10 percent offer and it sold so it's like six six thirty free shipping i would almost be tempted to put that in an envelope but that's just not how i roll i don't need the defect over trying to save three dollars you could put that in an envelope and uh and then take the chance that the guy says he never got it and then you give him his money back but i would rather take the chance on the tracking number and and only make i mean that's basically breaking even but the reality is i have nothing into that thing and i like getting that kind of stuff into the hands of collectors who need that kind of thing i like to be the collector who buys those kind of little piddly craps that uh complete a piece and last but certainly not least, I paid $3 for Moana Toys. Moana Toys, $3. And it is full of, but it has like Tafiti as the lava monster, which I think is freaking awesome. But uh, it looks like a Skylander, but it's not. It's Tafiti as the lava monster. Anyway, um, I thought I was going to give those to Evelyn, but she already had them. So for $3, I sold them for $12 plus shipping which is a pretty good profit, really. So I didn't feel like putting $1,500 worth of packages out here in the snow. Literally like four inches of snow on the ground where they would be sitting was a good idea. So I did this. And my handwriting's not great, but that's okay. I'm trying to take care of the post office because they take care of me. All right, guys. Well, that's going to conclude yesterday's video. I'm about to record today's video. But as per usual, I didn't say like, comment, and subscribe. This is the end of the video. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one. So I'm saying those things now. Did you hear me?